Hi everyone, today we're going to take a look at this battery powered vacuum cleaner from Vax. Specifically, this is the SlimVac Cordless. Now this is very similar to the Dyson products out there. In fact, I've got one of them here and this is quite an old model now. This is the DC34 and you can see I've kind of got it ripped open at the moment because I'm trying to fix it. One of the capacitors is blown out. I don't know if there's more damage to it, but one of the capacitors blown out, maybe more damage. It's quite old now, so I wouldn't be surprised if I can't get it going again. So we've got this one as a replacement and you might be thinking, well, why would you leave Dyson? That's like the gold standard of vacuum cleaners. Well, yes, it is, but they're kind of overpriced, to be honest. They're very expensive. And after having this one for a couple of days and messing around with it, I can say this is nearly as good as the Dyson. It doesn't quite have as much suction power, but it's very, very close. And it does have a longer run time. Now, under half the price and a very similar performance, for me, it's a no-brainer, especially because Vax are a well-known brand. It's not like it's some generic, you know, no-name brand. This is a good brand. So enough about that. Let's have a look at the vacuum itself. And of course, the first thing you'll notice is there's no cord because it's completely cordless, it's got a built-in battery, and I'll show you the battery. Here it is here, it just slides out. I haven't actually checked what the capacity is, let me see. Okay, so it's rated at 21.6 volts, and it's a 42 or 43 watts hour battery. Pretty high capacity, really. Um, that's probably why it runs for, I think it's got a runtime of 24 minutes, something like that, so that makes sense. And just like the Dyson, it has a cyclone technology. So if we pull the trigger, this might be a little bit noisy. Now what you might have noticed there is it actually got stronger as it went on. For the first couple of seconds, it's strong, but then it gets even stronger. So it doesn't have like a boost mode option. Like this one here from the Dyson has a boost button. It doesn't really have that, but if you're just using it quickly to pick something up, it's probably gonna be at normal speed, but if you really hold it down, you're gonna get that extra speed. So what comes with this? Well, of course you get the charger. I think this was 26 volts at 400 milliamp. So basically 10 watts. It doesn't seem like that impressive a charger to be honest, but 10 watts I guess is good enough. It'll get the thing charged. Next, you get this little nozzle piece here. This is pretty typical, very useful like if you're in a car or you wanna get it into crevices like down the sofa and things like that. And of course it comes with this brush adapter and then this other side. Honestly, I don't really know like when you use each piece, but it's got it all basically. Then you've got this long tube now, I don't know if you'd be able to fit this all on the camera, but it's a fairly long tube. Now this is great because you can actually use this as a typical like stand-up vacuum, um, or you can use this to get into like really high places if you need to do, I don't know, your ceilings or something like that, especially if you attach this crevice piece on the end. Or of course, you've got the brush bit, and this is powered, this spins, and unlike the Dyson, because as far as I know, at least on this one, you couldn't turn the brush on and off, it's automatically on. Well, with this one, you actually have the option of turning the brush on or off using this button on the top. So let me show you that. So if I turn it on now, the brushes should spin. And if I press this button, and if I press this button on the top and then pull the trigger, this time the brushes shouldn't spin. Now that's useful because on some surfaces you might not want to use the brush. For instance, you might want to use it on carpet, but you might not want to use it on a hard surface like this. So it's good that you've got the option of turning it on and off like that. And the next thing you've probably noticed already is the flexible head. This thing is super flexible in all directions. And pretty much as soon as I started using this and put it up against a few walls and stuff, I was like, Wow, that actually works so well. When I saw it on Amazon, I was like, oh, do you really need that, like that swivelly head thing? Is it that important? Well, yes, it just makes the whole job so much easier, especially when you're trying to get into like tight corners and stuff or under furniture. It just makes the whole thing super easy. Now, putting some dirt on the floor and sucking it up really doesn't mean that much because even a cheap 20 pound vacuum cleaner can do that. So, I mean, I am going to do it. I'm going to show you some dirt on the floor and, you know, use it. But honestly, it's more of a useful review in the fact that I can tell you that side by side, it's very similar in performance to the Dyson DC34 in suction power. It's got a little bit longer run time and is a tiny bit heavier. Actually, if I had one complaint, it would be the balancing of this. It's a little bit front heavy. So when you're holding it like this, you can feel it like kind of pulling down a little bit the front. Now, Honestly, does it matter? You're probably not gonna use it that much to actually like be like, oh, that's, that's annoying. Like, it's not that big a deal. Um, 
But yeah, if I had to compare it to the Dyson, I would say that's one thing that Dyson definitely did better. Their weight distribution, it's much, um, much more balanced basically across the, the whole thing. So it feels more comfortable to hold. It's not a deal breaker, but yeah, if I had one complaint, that would be it. Now, of course, since we've got this big bar here, I can attach the brush to that then attach the bar to the handheld unit and I can use it like a traditional stand-up push vacuum, which is quite good. And another useful feature it has for that actually is that it's got this lock switch. So instead of having, oops, sorry, can you see that? There you go. Instead of having to hold the trigger the whole time, you can just lock it in place. So that's pretty handy because if you're doing a lot of vacuuming or you're doing it in a really hard to reach place, it can get really frustrating when you have to hold the trigger, especially if like you want to hold it at some weird angle or something because you're just trying to get into that little crevice or something. So very handy that they put this little lock switch in place so you can have it stay on without you having to pull the trigger. Another nice thing they've done is made the filter really easy to access because it's just at the back here. Pushing these two blue buttons at the side, pull it out and there you go. That's it. That's how easy it is to pull out and clean. So very nice the way they've done that. I do like that. So let's go pick up some dirt with this thing. Now honestly I'm not even sure if you can see the little bits of dirt here but just for the sake of having a practical demonstration I'm going to pick up these few little bits. So there you go, if nothing else to demonstrate how well the little swivelly head works. It is great for getting underneath furniture, tables and things like that. It does make it much easier. And this is how it looks if you're standing up and you're using it with the extension pipe on. You can see it's pretty much like a regular vacuum cleaner, except you don't have the hassle of a cord. So that extension pipe does come in very useful. So that was just a quick video, but there's not too much to say to be honest. If you know how the Dyson works, then this is very, very similar, but it's under half the price. Very similar performance, uh, 24, something like that minute runtime. The only thing I have to tell you is that the battery comes not charged. So you have to charge it when it comes. Don't get it out of the box and start using it because you'll probably damage the battery to be honest. It was quite low the battery when it came. So you do have to charge it. Now they say initial charge is eight hours, but then every sequential charge will be just five hours. So your average charge time will be five hours or probably less because most of the time you aren't gonna run it down completely. Now I know a lot of people are gonna be thinking, another vacuum cleaner, what's going on with this channel? Well, don't worry, there probably aren't gonna be any more for quite a long time. I just wanted to share this here on the channel because there are a lot of these on the market, but they're from unknown brands. Now, Vax is a known brand, good brand, and you have to be careful because you don't wanna buy like a really cheap vacuum and then have to be throwing it away or sending it back because it's not strong enough. This one is strong enough, very close performance to the Dyson. So if you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.